Artmark has helped fund the sabotage or sex. As a privately held corporation, Artmark allows investors to participate in blacklisted or illegal cultural production with minimum risk. I see in the near future a crisis approaching that unnerves me and causes me to tremble for the safety of my country. As a result of the war, corporations have been enthroned and an era of corruption in high places will follow and the money power of the country will endeavor to prolong its reign by working upon the prejudices of the people until all wealth is aggregated in a few hands and the republic is destroyed. 21 years after Lincoln was assassinated, the Supreme Court declared corporations to be persons under the law. Multinational corporations have moved to a level that was not imagined by even the most brazen of robber barons. I feel at this moment more anxiety for the safety of my country than ever before, even in the midst of war. God grant that my suspicions may prove groundless. There is a big difference between the new corporations and the old rubber barons. The new workers in the new corporations believe that they are the corporation. Corporations can't be responsible. They're just machines of economic enterprise. And what has happened to Barbie? She's the talk of G.I. Joe. Come home. Direct fire at that Cobra squad. Now, BLO stands for the Barbie Liberation Organization. Artmark affected its first high-profile act of worker-based sabotage in 1993, when it channeled $8,000 to a group that switched the voice boxes of 300 G.I. Joe and Barbie dolls. The veterans group that provided the money used Artmark to displace its liability for the action. In another success story, a New York shopkeeper anonymously paid $5,000 through Artmark for a programmer to add homoerotic content to SimCopter, a computer-based video game. Nearly 80,000 altered copies made their way to the homes of consumers. The World Wide Web has allowed Artmark to achieve greater accessibility, faster turnover rates, more precisely tuned outreach techniques, and a higher profile for the organization and its services. Today, visitors to rtmark.com can freely browse, suggest, and fund projects, offer their services, and avail themselves of ancillary resources like searches, archives, and bulletin boards. The core of the Artmark system is its database of unfulfilled sabotage projects. Each of these projects has four simple keys. The worker, the idea, capital investment, and Artmark's corporate veil. The first key to any Artmark project is the idea. A project idea can be submitted through rtmark.com by any party, including the proposed worker or funder. Artmark is a market-driven system, and any idea that meets the bottom line criterion of attack without physical injury is listed prominently on rtmark.com. The worker is the most important key to any Artmark project. Widespread corporate use of internet resources assures that Artmark's workers represent a diverse cross-section of the population. The third Artmark key is anonymous capital. Although most workers do not perform Artmark actions for the sake of gain, financial rewards can provide a small measure of comfort or inspiration. Finally, Artmark provides the corporate veil that displaces liability from funder and worker. Artmark also helps maximize the project's performance and profile with public relations efforts that highlight intrinsic key issues. When all factors correctly combine, the net result can be wonderful. 
Artmark's first high-profile action since integrating the Internet into its cross-media strategy was a compact disc of illegal resampling from the music of recording artist Beck. Rubbish piles, love machines, rubbish piles, love machines. Because of RTMark.com's heavy daily traffic, worker, idea, and funds were united in record time. Deconstructing Beck is now in its fourth printing. I gotta go right now. Someone is videotaping me in my spaceship. At RTMark.com, sabotage projects are divided into popular mutual funds that offer high cultural dividends with risk levels tailored to the needs of diverse market sectors. The Artmark mutual fund system is modeled after its financial counterpart and its aims are very similar. When low and middle income people buy stocks and mutual funds, they're very effectively drawn into identifying corporate needs as their own, even against their real interests like safety in the workplace and health care. In the last Senate race, I voted for a free markets candidate, thinking that this would help my 401k. But now the same guy is gutting financial aid, making me think I'm going to have to use my retirement money to pay for my daughter's education. The Artmark mutual funds, like their financial counterparts, enable laypeople with minimum time and knowledge to invest strategically by leveraging the wisdom and skill of specialized experts. Artmark's mutual fund managers have shown substantial staying power by personally delivering the highest dividends, even in the cultural bear markets of the 80s and early 90s. Artmark's media fund is managed by Andre Kudrescu, prolific author and NPR commentator. One successful media fund project was World Phone-In Sick Day. Quite a few people phoned in sick, and immediately afterwards, uh, 10,000 policemen in uh, England called sick. I think uh, if enough people did that, uh, the machinery may falter. Artmark offers subject-based and risk-assessed mutual funds for every investment need. New funds are regularly created to cater to our growing investor pool and the constantly changing marketplace. The Corporate Law Fund contains projects that challenge the legal rights and powers that corporations have arrogated over the years. The Corporate Law Fund can be considered the distillation of Artmark's core aims and values. In 1886, the Supreme Court ruled that corporations were persons under the 14th Amendment, which had been written to protect the rights of freed slaves. But their vast wealth makes corporations more powerful than any other persons. If I want to talk to my congressman, I can email him instantly, but he'll probably never read it. Whereas GM or Microsoft, if they want to talk to my congressman, their lobbyist is having lunch with them the next day. Once they were declared to be people, Corporations could take control of a vast range of activities that the Founding Fathers had expressly reserved for citizens. Corporations have the rights of people, but not the liabilities. What if three strikes applied to corporations? What about 10,000 strikes? Union Carbide was found responsible for the deaths of 10,000 people, and yet they're still in business. Corporations should be considered guilty from the start, and they should have to prove their innocence. Corporations have been subverting the U.S. Constitution since 1886, and they've systematically rewritten the law in their favor. We've got to step in and say enough is enough. Put the power of law and government back in the hands of people, real people. Addressing cutting-edge issues of corporate power presents a formidable challenge to Artmark, one that will not be met overnight. With an eye to the future, Artmark helps to focus the sometimes scattershot dissatisfaction of corporate workers on the appropriate target. This man was videotaped, urinating in the office coffee pot. Artmark turns knee-jerk responses to corporate power into effective actions with lasting results. It is vulnerable because it is in the end composed of individuals and individuals who have uh, secret anarchist desires who, that go against the organism of which they are a part. Now that my wife and I are retired, our deepest concern is the environment. And we all know what happens with the environment when corporate interests have their way. I believe the only way to save any of the environment for people is to interrupt corporate interests, and that's why I'm investing in Artmark. Artmark provides me with an outlet for those feelings that I can't express on the job. My investment in Artmark is truly a win-win situation.
As a successful restaurateur, I have been approached by investment managers many times, but I tell them that I'm not interested in the stock market. I make my investments in culture, Artmark. Investors and workers together ensure that Artmark continues to be the industry leader in bringing sabotage and blacklisted cultural production into the public marketplace. Artmark is also broadcasting on channels that are not immediately visible.